All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at pre-preparation of rights. So if you guys have not lived under a rock for like the last couple of years when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys should know of a card called preparation of rights, who uh, pretty much recently, fairly recently, in at least 2015, got put down to one because of just how powerful uh, Necros were. If you don't remember Necros, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been that long since they've been gone. So, uh, you know, everybody was like, or a good majority of people were like, oh, man, they hit, pre you know, Preparation Rise. That sucks, you know. Oh, my ritual deck, it hurts all because Necro, it's all Necro's fault. And you know what? Konami was nice enough to actually create you a new card that, ironically, Necros cannot play. This is pre-Preparation of Rise, all right? It's a normal spell card that reads, add two cards from your, uh, add two cards to your hand. One spell card from your deck and one ritual monster that's listed on the ritual spell text from your deck or graveyard. You only have to wait one pre-preparation of rights per turn. So what does this card do? It pretty much, as long as you have the ritual spell and then on that ritual spell list, the ritual monster, you can go ahead and get that ritual monster as well. It is literally a plus one that Necros cannot use because, of course, on the, the, the Necros spells, they don't list, you know, it doesn't specifically say, oh, you, you summon Trish or, no, you summon Cloth. It doesn't say that. So, even if Necros were, you know, still with, you know, the best deck, they couldn't even play this card because it doesn't specifically list the monsters on their spell card. But for a majority of ritual spell monster combinations, uh, it usually does, you know. So, Whatever ritual monster you play, as long as it lists it, you can just go ahead and play this, get a plus one, get that ritual spell, then, hey, look, you know, it says Herald of Ultimate, get me Herald of Ultimate from my deck or my graveyard to my hand. It's just a, it's just a fantastic card, and I, I'm actually questioning and wondering if Konami would have made this card if they never hit Preparation of Rights, you know, that's the, that's the thing, that's the thing, because Preparation of Rights was at three for, like, forever, and was it a very strong ritual card? Yeah, but is ritual mechanic that strong? No, it's arguably the weakest, you know. Just because you have to get the ritual spell and the ritual monster and have the tributes to sign. It's, it's just a hassle. It's, it really is just a hassle. I know. You know, when I tried to make that Lord of Red deck, it was just a hassle to deal with. So, uh, it would have been really nice if I had this card. I could just be like, hey, you know, activate this. Let me go ahead and uh, get my, uh, what, Red Eyes Transmigration. And it says Lord of Red right here. Let me get Lord of the Red. You know, that'd be great. But, yeah, I kind of... You know, played the deck and was done with the deck before this card was even revealed. And it's just like, damn, I couldn't even hop on Salvation with it. It's already too late. But, uh, you know, for all of you guys who are, you know, just, you know, I wouldn't say whining, but, you know, it's kind of justifiable. I mean, you know, the end justifies the means. You know, it's just like, we can't leave you alone when this card is being such a problem. I mean, uh, when Shadal's and the whole Super Poly debacle, I mean, <laughs> sorry, I know heroes, I know you love your Super Poly, but, I mean, look. Look at what shit all is doing. It's just it's just the casualties of Yu-Gi-Oh. Shit happens. There's a casualties in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, so uh, here you go. Here you go, people. If you guys want to go ahead and play your ritual decks, you guys want to go ahead and uh, have fun with your ritual mechanic. Not on Depro right now, cause that's broken. I mean, but what isn't broken on Depro, right? Like. For goodness sakes. But <laughs> if you guys want to go ahead and have fun with your original mechanic, I definitely recommend throwing this card in there because th there's just no reason not to. You know, as long as you're just not like, well, you know, I use a Van Trisha art only. Like, no, 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 no. Play your ritual spell because you get to go ahead and get a plus one off this card. There you go. <laughs> you're rewarded. Apologize about what happened with Necros. So to make it up and, you know, have us take away preparation of rights or put it down to one. Here's your pre-preparation of rights. And if you can use both, hey, more power to you. So, uh, you know, it's debatable. If, you know, with this card coming out, will Konami put preparation of rights, regular preparation of rights, back up, you know? Or they'll just keep it there uh, just because, you know, they don't want anything, they don't want even, want even a chance for Necros to do anything. Same thing with, like, you know, like Shadal. They're just like, eh, you know, Super probably wasn't that bad before Shadal's with Heroes. They kind of used it, but and it wasn't too terrible. So... You know, with Shadal's pretty much being gone, with Construct being banned, you know, could they bring back Cyber Poly? I mean, they could, but that's the question. Are they going to? Or do they even want to risk it? I think not for a while. I think they're probably going to leave things there for a while, uh, similar to how they did with, uh, you know, like Gear 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 and, you know, and stuff like that. They just kind of leave it down for a while, and then maybe after a while they give it back to you. So maybe, I mean, like I said, it's still too early. Shadal's and Necro's literally just got hit this list. Uh, to the point where they're not really played. So, you know, maybe after maybe after a couple uh, lists or a couple formats, a couple of uh, maybe, maybe even years, you know, uh, they'll go ahead and move up those cards. But for now, I like that they, Konami made this card 
And like I said, I just want to know, if you never had to hit prep, would you ever make this card? Because it's just like, hey, hey, this is pre, this is pre-preparation of rights. I love it. So much you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.